Hello, my name is Mr. Dog, and today we're going to look at the Mi Max deck and expand it. You may think this Mi Max deck looks a lot like the standard version, and you would be correct. However, there are some key differences. First of all, we're playing Field Blower instead of Lost Vacuum. Field Blower lets us discard two of any combination of Pokemon Tool and Stadium cards in play. Next, we're playing double Colorless Energy instead of double Turbo Energy. This means that our attacks don't do 20 less damage. And because of this, we can play Vitality Band instead of Choice Belt. Vitality Band lets us do 10 more damage to our opponent's active Pokemon. And this is all Pokemon, not just Pokemon V, like with Choice Belt. And this is relevant in Expanded because there are lots of um, Tag Team GXs. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get on some battles. Right, we're going first against Lecephalon. Um, this could be a single prize deck, so might want to keep the Echoing Corn. If they do play like one or two two prizes, we can Echoing Corn the two prizes back so we can win the game faster. Um, so what I might do is I might Chromatic away the Palpad. And hopefully we get ahead so we can get a VIP pass. Nice. We don't have any um, basic Pokemon prize, so the Suing Heavy Ball is pretty useless. We can just go ahead and burn it. So we'll grab Mew Genesect. And then we can draw one card. Another VIP pass, nice. Go for Mew Genesect. We'll get three Mews because we might want a Psychic Leap. Um, could be good again in this matchup. Okay. So I guess we'll just burn these. Genesect is weak to fire, so it won't be that hard for them to get the knockout with the Blacephalon. Um, so I'll just pass it over to our opponent. Need Welder. Um, need to get two energies on with Welder. Attach for turn and need to have two energies in hand to discard with Fireball Circus. Let's see if they, they have it. They have put a two, some two prizes in play though, so that makes the game a bit easier for us. Okay, so they have three two prizes in play now, so we don't need to keep the Echoing Corn around. We can just discard it with um, Quick Ball. Well, I suppose they could devolve this into, into the VMAX, so I suppose that there is an argument that we should keep the Echoing Corn around instead. Right, so... Do they have two energies in hand to get the knockout? That is the question. Hopefully not. Okay, they do. Okay. So, some Mew. Got two V Maxes. Put Genesect down. And we'll. Guzma onto Guzma onto this because um, we don't want them to evolve into the VMAX. It'll be harder to knock out. I suppose we'll let Le Echoing Horn um, the Tapu, whatever this is, we'll Echoing Horn this into play just so they're bench locked. Just so um, they can't bench as many like support Pokemon like the Denny's and Crobats. I guess that's fine. Just uh, So we just need to find energy now to get the attack off. Um, hands pretty clogged though. Get rid of the IP. And money. Use them as a pretty important to keep around. Okay. See if we can get the DT off the chromatic. If not, we can use the Forest Seal Stone. We, can have, we have one more Genesect first as well. Okay, no um, DT. So we've got to use the Star Alchemy, unfortunately. We have four on the deck, so I don't know how we didn't find one. That's quite unlucky. And we may as well put Path in play. Got the Fill Blur in hand to get rid of it. So the good thing about playing a Welder deck is that they can't use Guzma and Welder in the same turn. 
obviously it might not matter because they, they already have a, an attacker set up. So they probably want to find um, Gust to knock out our Genesex because it's going to be way easier to knock out the Genesex than the Mewi Max. Fire Infant will give them four Fire Energies in hand. However, if, if they don't knock us out, we can potentially use Psychic Leap to leap back into the deck to heal the Mewi Max. They do need seven Energies to discard, which is a lot. Powering up the dub wall. This wall for a Zassian, interesting. Not sure why they're playing that. I guess it draws them cards if they go first. They can use Intrepid Sword, but it doesn't seem that great in this kind of deck. Okay, they got nothing. I'm pretty sure we can just take the game from here. Power Tablet. I think I will fill blow this um, path to the peak in play just in case they Iono us or Mani us and we, and, we, and we brick because of the path. We'll draw some more cards as well, I guess. Can evolve the MeV Max at this point. Okay, another DTE. I'll take it. Okay, that should be fine. Technoblast Blast for Knockout. I'm glad I remembered to play the extra Power Tablet because um, Dub Wall takes first less damage because of its ability. For Heatran. Uh, they can get a knockout of that with the GX attack if they have a welder. Oh wait, no, they no they can't actually. They can almost get a knockout. And they need to need to like have a toy spell or something. But if they attack with Heatran, like they just win the game anyway, so. That is what they're doing though for some reason. Or GG's, I guess. Okay, yeah, I think they realized they made a mistake. Okay, we're now going first against Dragapult. Starting off with three MeVs, that's pretty good. We'll cram away the Field Blower. Um, and we do get Tails, which is fine. Probably discard the Marnie to get a Genesect. Discard the Guzma, actually, because we can use the Marnie to draw some more cards if we don't draw anything good off the Genesect. So Genesect for three cards. Okay, nice. Battle of the OP pass and a quick ball. So we'll grab two Genesex. Attach Vitality Bands. Fusion's right system. Nice to find a path, I think. Go Marnie. Um. Go for the money. Okay, that's path. We don't have a way to bump the path, so I don't really want to put it in play. I'm just pass for now. Okay, so they're using the Malamar to power up the Dragapult. Research. I'm hoping they can't evolve both Dragapult VMAXs because what I could do is I could use them onto the one they don't evolve. And then I could knock out the Dezene, then I can Echoing Call one of the two prizes back into play. Give me a very easy prize map. They might not have found any VMAXs to be honest. They might just attack, attack me with this. Which I'd be very happy with. Okay, so they're using that to put a supporter back on top of the deck. Okay, 
We're big chilling then because they couldn't even find a single VMAX. Just need to find um, our own VMAX, which should not be too hard. Burn this. Probably Iono here because this hands. I don't really want to discard anything with Quick Ball here. Find the VMAX. Uh, we'll discard the escape rope. Sure. Okay, nice. Grab DT. Probably want to evolve this so they can't snipe it and knock it out. Maybe should have played this um, switch before I use the Genesect. Then this. Then this. Okay, nice. We'll get the VMAX. Titan Blast. I think I forgot to use this Genesect. Whoops. Oh well. Okay, not great prize cards. So do you have VMAX now? Probably gonna Guzma the um, Dragapult they bench. And then we Guzma, after that we Guzma the Dedene to win the game. We have both Guzmas in hand, so it should be a pretty straightforward game to be honest. Never in K. Research. As long as they don't disrupt our hands, then we should just win really easily. Three VIP passes in hand, that's not so great. So we'll attach to here. I want to find a VMAX for this one. I don't really want to attack with this one. Guzma. Got this. Trying to set for one. Okay, perfect. Ultra Ball. That'll thin down our hand and it gets the VMAX. I can. Um, Gonna set for three more cards. Royal Seal Stone is pretty good. Fusion Strike, Fusion Strike System. Quick Ball. And uh, Technal Blast. Have game for next turn with the Guzma on the Dezene. They, they need to find something like Clap Stadium to get rid of it. These um, Malamars uh, aren't really helping them very much because usually attaching return to these uh, Dragapults is usually enough. So these Malamars just seem like wasted deck space to me. I guess playing 1-1 one, one wouldn't be terrible, but 2-2 two, two is probably a bit too much. Okay, they have disrupted our hand, so we have got to find Guzma. We do, we do currently have Forest Seal Stone, but I guess they could have um, a Field Blower or something to get rid of the Forest Seal Stone. Alright. So that is game then, because we still have Forest Seal Stone for the last Guzma. And even if we didn't have Frail Seal Stone, we could still see quite a few cards. 
So you'd probably find Guzma anyway. GG's. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!